Recent evidence indicates that unhealthy things like junk food, alcohol or cigarettes can have the valuation reduced by cognitive interventions. In these interventions, people have to repeat the same movements over and over again for long practice sessions. They quickly become boring to the participants and are thus challenging to implement in the everyday life. If they are not focused on the task, the efficiency of the intervention will decrease drastically. This issue can however be solved by gamifying the task. To this aim, we have developed and tested a gamified intervention to reduce how people value unhealthy food, the diner. We have succeeded in using this video game software to change how players value unhealthy food. After training with this game at home and on joint smartphone or tablets, our players evaluate their favorite unhealthy food as less attractive. This software includes two tasks to change the player's perception of food. In the first task, pictures come and go on the screen. Players have to drag as fast as possible the healthy items. If they are not fast enough, they lose a life. But if they see an unhealthy item, they have to stop their movement. Otherwise, they also lose a life. This trains players to avoid attractive and healthy food, in turn training them to like them less. In the second task, players have to ignore all pictures that are not circled in green. As soon as the green circle appears, the player has to react fast enough to not lose a life. Because healthy food are always accompanied with the green circle, but unhealthy food never are, this trains the player to ignore the unhealthy food and to focus only on the healthy ones. In both tasks, the goal of the player is to survive as long as possible despite the increasing difficulty, giving more pressure to answer faster and faster. We have asked 100 players to play this game for 6 hours over 1 month. 95% of them evaluated their favorite unhealthy food 20% less after this training. This graph represents these players. They were split into a control and experimental group. In the experimental group, you see that before the intervention, in red, their ratings of unhealthy food were way higher than after the intervention, in blue. This decrease in the experimental group was significantly more important than in the control group. These results validate the effect of our intervention and how players change the perception of unhealthy food. This change in behavior allows for easier and healthier choices in the everyday life. Players have to restrain themselves less when in front of attractive and healthy food, what traditional dieting fails at. The diner is a flexible intervention. It can be applied for the change of any type of objects. Food here can be easily replaced by soda, cigarettes or alcohol. We are currently adapting the diner to study its impact to the consumption of sugary beverages, soda, energy drinks, iced coffee and so on. If you are interested in our publication or to our software, do not hesitate to contact me or our team.